Hello, welcome to STAT 100 Online. My name is Ellen Fireman, and I'm your online instructor. And my name's Carly Laska Flanagan, and I'm the in-person instructor. We're really excited to tell you about our entirely new way to teach statistics online. We call it the extended classroom idea. And for years, uh, in STAT 100, we've developed this enormous array of teaching tools and all we really had to do to open it up to online students is flip a switch and film the lectures. Yeah, in fact, STAT 100 was actually so popular as an in-person class that there were more people registering for the class than we could fit in our classrooms. So that's how we decided why not just knock down the classroom walls, per se, and start a whole new online course, which is what you guys are in right now. Yeah. And the way it works is this. You're going to be watching Carly's lectures the same day she gives them, just a few hours later. You'll have the same homework as the in-person uh, class, the same exams, the same practice tests, the same array of uh, t learning tools, and the same due dates. It's basically the same class. And you'll even feel like you're in the class because you're going to be watching the same lectures. You'll just have the flexibility of being online. And both Ellen and I believe that communication is one of the biggest things that we need to worry about for an online class. So you guys are going to be receiving emails from us all the time, reminders, etc. And the best part is you have access to our in-person office hours, which are every single day. Every day from 2 to 5 p.m. Uh, 2 to 6 p.m. Yeah, 2 to 6. 2 actually. to 6, actually. I'll usually be there 4 to 6, and Carly, you'll usually be there. I'll be there from 2 to 5. Yeah. Um, but if you guys have a question, the nice thing is a lot of classes are completely online. You guys can come, stop by 23 Illini Hall, and ask us in person. You can meet us in person if you want. So now you're probably wondering, how on earth am I going to watch a 70 to 80 minute lecture without falling asleep online? Well, the beauty of having the class online is that you guys are in full control of the lecture. You can stop it if you want. You can pause it. You can rewind it. You can even watch half of it in the morning, half at night. You can watch it at 3 in the morning if, if that's how you choose to learn. Um, so you guys have a lot more flexibility that the in-class doesn't actually get. And the best part about being online is that you're not just going to be passively watching the lectures. Um, instead, you're going to be using our favorite teaching tool, the STAT 100 Notebook, and going along with me to fill this out. So the way it's going to work is I'm going to be in the video filling this out, and then you guys, we really want you to take ownership of your notebook and write side notes, write what I write, highlight things, and in the end, this is going to be a great tool for learning and a great tool for studying for the exams. Absolutely. And in fact, um, online students can really take full advantage of the interactive aspect of the notebook. Um, it's our favorite teaching tool, but it's certainly the students, particularly those who uh, actively engage in writing in the notebook. And as an online student, you can just stop it whenever you want and whenever and ask questions to yourself. The most important question you can ask in learning anything is what I call the wait what question what what and you're very familiar with this question because you probably ask it all the time in this context let's say you're listening to a lecture and probably from your point of view it probably sounds like blah 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 and all of a sudden you hear something like and there's going to be a quiz tomorrow covering this material and you go wait what and basically, wait, what means you've got my attention now. This is important, and I need to understand these concepts. We don't want you guys to just think like that if we say there's going to be a quiz. We want you to think like that the entire semester. Well, you guys are online watching these videos. If something doesn't make sense, if you say, wait, what? What did she just say? Go ahead, pause, rewatch the video, look in your notebook. And if you do that, you guys are definitely going to be successful on our exams. Yes. And... I think that the wait what questions are especially critical in learning statistics because think about it, statistics is really the only tool we have to help us understand probabilities. And nothing, everything in life involves probabilities. Nothing is certain except death. 
right? So statistics can help you with every single decision you make. So I, if statistics is not worthy of your wait what attention, then I don't know what else is. I completely agree, Ellen. And we think that as instructors, if we didn't put questions like that on the exam that made you guys say, wait, what? Then we wouldn't be doing our jobs. We wouldn't be um, allowing you guys to actually learn statistics and be able to apply it to other situations, different situations than you may have seen in class. That's the goal. Absolutely, because <clears throat> we can talk to we're blue in the face about, and we do, we are passionate about statistics, and you'll find that out throughout this semester. We, this is our life's mission, and this is what we believe in. But we can tell you that, we can show you how gorgeous it is, how important it is, but we can do this, oh, after umpteen years of teaching, I know for a fact, I know this for sure, <laughs> that if we don't include these wait, what, questions on the exam, on exams, questions where you have to really stop and think, that you will never practice the wait, what way of thinking in uh, learning statistics. So as Carly said, this is we wouldn't be doing our job unless you'll, on every exam, you'll see at least one question where you're going to have to stop and wonder. And you have all the tools you need to do that. We're not trying to trick you, right? No, not at all. I mean, you're going to know how to answer those questions. You're just not going to answer them on automatic pilot. Because think about it. How often, is, they're not going to be exactly like the questions you've seen before, possibly. You know, they're not, not exactly the same, because think about it. How often in life do you ever encounter problems that are worded exactly like the questions on the homework? Never. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> For sure, never. So now should we, what should we do now? Should we show them the... Uh... Yeah, let's show them the class website and the syllabus. Okay. Okay, so guys, before we get started with the website and the syllabus, I just wanted to make sure to show you the STAT 100 notebook for the semester that you guys are going to buy. So this is the spring 2017 edition. It says that on the bottom, it has Ellen and I as both of the authors and John Martin as well. And make sure that you guys get the gray spring 2017 edition. This is the only one that we're offering um, the extra credit for filling in the notebook at the end. And if you look at the notebook, like if I just open to um, a random page right here, you can see um, nothing is filled in, but they have the example and then blanks where we have to fill in what we got on our survey data. So during the semester, you guys are going to be taking surveys. And one of the beauties of STAT 100 is that you we're going to analyze our own data. Statistics can be about anything. We're going to make it about everything. So here's what it looks like when um, before you fill it in. And then this is just an example from last semester, the same exact page with the numbers filled in and my handwriting and everything. So that's what's going to be going on with the notebook, make sure to buy it at the bookstore. The Illini Union Bookstore has it on sale for $31.25. Okay, so now I want to show you uh, how to access all the online materials. So you're going to be here, uh, this is what it looks like right now when you log into Compass, and as you can see, Compass is only going to be used for class announcements, lecture videos, and grades. So your lecture videos will be found here. We haven't posted any yet because the lectures haven't started yet. But uh, so all this, the syllabus, the calendar, the exam schedule is all to be found right here at this link. But another way, if you don't have to memorize this link, another easy way to find it is to just Google STAT 100. And this course is so popular that it will be the first thing that comes up anywhere in the world. At least that's what I'm told. So now, um, since this online course is new, that doesn't immediately pop up. So just go to the top right here, STAT 100, and this is our basic uh, website. And um, we're sharing the entire website. Everything's going to be the same, but there are a few small details that are different. So uh, to not get confused, always log into my online section, okay? So from here, uh, 
from here you'll see you'll be sure to get all the information correct and um, and you can also link here to the lecture videos um, uh, the calendar the exam schedule everything that you need to know now on the first lecture that Carly is going to give which is Tuesday and you'll see it uh, on you know just tomorrow uh, you she's going to explain uh, where you do your homework which is on Lon Kappa and Compass, which we just saw, which is where your grades are. So this will be fully explained to you uh, tomorrow. Now the only difference is that there's a slight difference in grading. Let's check out the grading. Everything is the same. It's just when it comes to extra credit work, you're not going to be in class getting eye clicker points, so there's no extra credit for that. Instead, what we're going to do is put those extra credit points into the completed notebook, and we emphasized already how important that is. So you get 45. Uh, bonus points there and basically it's the same except for that. Okay, so we're really looking forward to starting an awesome semester. Uh, we're really excited. Yeah, we can't wait to see you guys in class, start chapter one, hopefully see you at office hours. Yeah, and we'd like at this point to introduce our key, one of our key behind the scenes person who uh, is going to help you if you have any technological issues, which, you know, when you're dealing with computers are sure Probably to come up. Probably will, yeah. So, uh, David Collier, would you like to? Hello. So this is David. And David, will you be in office hours this semester? Uh, yes, I'll be there from uh, 2 to 5. And so if students have questions, could they come and, like, will you help them with it? I mean, or I hope. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, definitely. And also, can they um, contact you by email? Uh, also email, in person and uh, email. So it's great. I mean, usually with most most um, online courses, the technological help never has a face. You don't get to actually come in and talk t to the person. But um, we're really fortunate that we have a big team of uh, Stat 100, not only uh, David, but other technological help and TAs. And TAs, yep. So I think um, that's it for now, right? Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.